on Friday and it is a triumph. I'm thinking about going to see it again, maybe this week, maybe Friday again. I, like a lot of people, am wondering what's next for Doom Part 3, Doom Messiah, and I have some ideas. I'm wondering about some things. I wanted to make this quick video. There will be some spoilers, so spoiler warning. Denis Villeneuve takes what some may consider some risk with his adaptation. I think it was great, but some may consider it a risk. I'm wondering with the dynamic between Paul and Shawnee now, what's going to happen in Doom Part 3? Is it possible with there being a divide between Chani and Paul at this point in Doom Part 3, Doom Messiah, if Denny Villeneuve could push Paul and Princess Irulan closer together? Could Denny take his adaptation a little bit further from the book and make the dynamics a little bit more interesting, again, by pushing Paul and Princess Irulan closer together, possibly making Princess Irulan the mother of Paul's children. We weren't introduced to Leto in this adaptation of the movie, and we weren't introduced to Leto the second or his twin sister either. I think that would create a very interesting dynamic if Denny Van Noob decided to go that direction. I don't know if it would work. Another part of this that makes it interesting, you also have to remember that Fade's bloodline has been secured as well. That could come back and have more of an impact. Um, so there could be a dynamic of Paul's next generation going against Fade's next generation. I wonder how would this new dynamic look if Denny decided to make either both of or one of Paul's kids from Irulan. Let's say that Chani has one child and Irulan has the other child. There's a further clash between these two factions. Chani is somewhat against Paul now because he leaned into the prophecy becoming a Maasai, becoming a savior for the Fremen. Shani did not want to see that. I wonder how they're going to handle this dynamic. There's still going to have to be a divide between Shani and Irulan. Does Denis Villeneuve make this divide even further and make it stronger by involving Irulan having children? And I think that also furthers the Benny Gesserit scheme because he talked about this. This movie is more of a Benny Gesserit movie than anything else. The Benny Gesserit are more present their schemes are more present. The way in which they are maneuvering, the, the way in which they are manipulating is a lot more present in this second movie, especially. I wonder if Denny is going to lean more into that. Another interesting point, I think it's fascinating that Denny decided to leave out Chani's parentage at this point. In the books and in the movies, Liet Kynes was the parent to Chani. Wonder if he did that to make her connection to the Fremen stronger and make her more purposeful in her fighting for her people. If she is related to Liet Kynes, that makes her closer to Paul to a degree. This kind of pushes her away from Paul, but I wonder if her parentage is going to be revealed in the third movie or if they're just going to kind of completely leave that alone to continue to make her being close to the Fremen stronger. Can we now speak on how the Bene Gesserits are really the true villain of Doom Part 1 and Doom Part 2? And I think they will be even more villainous in Doom Part 3. Can we admit that Lady Jessica, no matter how much she helped Paul, is a villain. She is technically a villain in this movie. Reverend Mother Helen Gaius Mohim is definitely a villain. She was a villain starting off in the first movie, and she again becomes a villain with her schemes and her machinations and her indoctrination and everything she's trying to do in this second movie. And she does a lot. Her and the Bene Gesserits do a lot. So I'm wondering, can we admit who the true villains of these movies are? Or... Are we seeing it as they're not the true villains? They're just kind of like behind the scenes so it doesn't make them villains. What are your thoughts? Thank you so much for taking time to check out this video. I really do appreciate it. This movie was so great to me. I would love to hear other people's thoughts on this movie. I think I'm gonna go see it on Friday again. Just a great movie, a triumph in cinema. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs>